Hello there. If you've been following along with prices for various cryptocurrencies, you will be fully aware by now that we've had a strong, sharp pullback. May have caught some of us off guard. A bit scary, but we have bounced since. And I'm here to tell you that this is actually a very healthy pullback. We're going to dig into the specifics of Bitcoin Cash, which has now pulled back into a much more appropriate looking wave two from before. If you watched my last update on Bitcoin Cash, I had a pattern that is displayed here in blue, aqua blue, whatever this color is, that was surmising that we were already finished with our wave two and that we were off to the races in a wave three. And we have, we've had a strong rally since that point. However, I also had an alternate pattern that was shown in red in the last video. I've changed the color to purple and I've modified slightly. And it was calling for a, a higher high for an actual fifth wave at around the 787 mark. We slightly exceeded that, but we have hit the 0.618 extension perfectly, which is a uh, textbook standard target for fifth wave based on where the third and fourth wave have fall, fallen. So based on that, our blue wave pattern has invalidated, but this is good news because with a higher true wave one or a higher wave, a sub wave five in this case, means we can project our wave three and four much higher. In addition, the wave two has been very sharp and it looks much more appropriate as a, as a more classic wave two than what we saw earlier. This blue wave two, what I was calling wave two is a little too shallow to be a true wave two. So I'm, I've relabeled this as wave four. And again, that peak that we had a few days ago was our true wave five top for the overall bigger wave one. And we are now in the midst of a wave two correction. With this wave two, we hit about 588 and we bounced very quickly within minutes actually of that bottom. And what I'm seeing here is uh, what I've considered, I've, I've put this, uh, uh, I've classified this as an unclear pattern. If you watch my video on the overall crypto pullback yesterday, and it's insinuating that we will have a bounce that I'm calling a B wave bounce. And this bounce may go as high as 720, maybe a little bit higher, just based on standard ratios, 61.8% retrace of the correction so far. And then our C wave, could fall anywhere from 586 to 555 to 504, maybe even lower than that. And that's based on Fibonacci extensions. And typically for a wave two or any kind of corrective wave, your A and your C have equivalent length. So that would put us at 504, which would be above our, what I'm calling our crash support level. So the 61.8% retrace is typically uh, kind of the yellow lights flashing, which I typically go over when you see the red support line. It's usually here. In this case, I think we can healthily pull back below that line. And as long as we don't go back down below 484, we're healthy. That's a 78.6 or 76.4% retrace. Typically, if we go below that, that's a very bad sign for the rally. But right now, we're not saying anything like that. So once again, we I'm expecting a bounce to, into the 720 region and then possibly a slightly deeper pullback to complete our wave two in a, in a sharp wave C. After that point, assuming that we hold and assuming that we get to about the 544 level, that would be a great time to buy. It's a, that would be a true wave two. And we would have our wave three project out to 1121 to 1220, right in that range. After fourth wave consolidation, we are looking at 1281 to 1380 as our fifth wave top. When we look at the bigger picture, everything is still looking good. You can actually see yesterday's crash on this one-day chart, just a steep red bar that goes all the way down. And of course, we are still in the middle of that correction, but nothing particularly alarming yet. Uh, we've had a good MACD reset. Provided that all this hand, uh, all this holds together, as I mentioned, our fifth wave top should be somewhere between 1281 and 1379 for the larger wave one, and that does fall right in the range that we would like to see. That'd be very bullish for our larger overall patterns. After that, expect a scary wave two pullback on a larger degree. It may go deeper, it might go longer. Our third wave after that point, and of course that point would be a good buying opportunity, would take us up to that 4,400 range where we have a strong resistance. I would not expect us to get through that on the first try. Uh, before we get to that point though, we do have a lot of resistances to clear. Again, 1307, 1743, may hit our heads on those, bounce back a few times. Ultimately, our pattern could still get us over 10,000, still have strong confluence at 11,274. That would be where our, was that 1718 
X return, something like that could come from. I would like to point out, however, that we still have this red pattern. Not sure if I had this on the chart last time or not, but almost all the cryptos have an alternate pattern in which our larger pullback that started in May is not yet complete and that we've been in a B wave bounce ever since. Bitcoin Cash is one of those cryptos that does lend us a little bit more uh, likelihood of seeing this red pattern unfold just because we could interpret this double bottom as an A, B, and a C wave impulse, which would in indicate that we may have a lower low coming. Right now, none of the supports are broken in Bitcoin Cash, and we need to drop very sharply in an impulsive fashion well through support to have any, uh, any chance of this red pattern unfolding. So uh, other than that, again, bullish healthy correction, good time to buy, be keeping an eye on this as well as many other cryptos. So uh, till next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.